looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my Team of the Year, Year 2021 predictions right guys now if you guys do know team of the year is one of the best promos in madden every single year it's coming up shortly Kralo did say it would be very shortly and like like i said as of last year guys it was released on the 14th and i always tell you guys i know that day because i was in spain on that exact day one of my last vacations you know by plane prior to covid hitting sadly but it was around that time it was the 14th i had just left and of course team of the year dropped so it is so far as of tomorrow will be a one week late in terms of last year's drop dip that's okay because things were a little pushed back um but yeah moving on from that team of the year will be dropping i hope by well today's wednesday i feel like thursday night might be a reveal it might drop friday and if not it will drop monday more than likely is what i'm kind of thinking here but he said he said shortly because they also have the super bowl promo and a few other promos to fit in so we really don't have too much leeway with when they can drop it so definitely so we're going to be doing our defensive predictions if you guys didn't watch my first one i did do our offensive predictions so make sure to go check that out but anyways, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, turn on that noti bell. You won't regret it, boys. Come join the family. We, we gained some subs yesterday. We're growing back again. Let's keep it up. Of course, guys, also, you guys have been smashing the like button. I see you guys in the comment section. I see the loyals that are here every day. Appreciate you guys. You guys have been here even through the rough times, so I greatly appreciate that. If you guys are still here, always smash the like button. It helps out tremendously. And of course, guys, if you need coins, pick up anything, head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Now, anyways, let's get into this. So in terms of uh, our predictions, we're going to start off from obviously the way it feels out in the lineup screen, starting from right end. Now, right end, very, very simple prediction, guys. It, it couldn't have been easier. That's going to be Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald's last card was going to be a most feared card. And that most feared card is still kicking it right here. 92 overall, still a good card. 99K for this card. This card's going to probably go up in value, guys. Honestly, investing in a few Aaron Donald power-ups may not be the worst thing in the world, although they're probably... Oh, 2K. Honestly, you could probably make some decent coins. I will make an... If you guys want to see an investment video, uh, comment down below. Let me know so I can make an investment video for you guys based off my Team of the Year predictions because I know a lot of these are going to be right. But anyways, guys, Aaron Donald. His next card's going to be absolutely insane. Um, this is the card that really puts Aaron Donald over the top every single year. His power move will be... If he gets to his 97, 98 overall, his power move will be a 99 chemmed out. His block share will be close to a 99 chem dot as well, if you can chem it out. His speed will be like an 84, 85. His acceleration will be a 90, and his strength will be close to 99 as well. This card is going to be overall a beast. Best right in the game, hands down. You really can't go wrong with Aaron Donald, as per usual. But nonetheless, let's keep it moving, guys. Defensive tackle. Now, I'm actually excited about this one. Uh, one of the Giants defensive studs this year is going to be our Team of the Year defensive tackle player. That's going to be Leonard Williams. Now, it really makes me happy to know that Leonard Williams had a I was a, was a high pick, couldn't pull through on the Jets, and then came to the Giants and had himself a resurgent year, especially after they were clowning our trade for him, right? But if he gets a defensive tackle card, which I think he could, potentially, because so in real life, it's weird. So in real life, he's labeled as a defensive tackle, and here he's an end, but I feel like Leonard Williams does have a chance. He had one of the, he was one of the most, uh, co had one of the most quarterback hits. Had one of the most uh, sacks. Obviously, he wasn't the leader in any of that stuff, but he was up there considering. I don't know where they'll put him. They could put him at like a rush end or they could put him at defensive tackle. I don't know where, but they will slot him in somewhere here. Uh, his block shed and his power move end up near 99s all around, depending on which chem you use. His speed ends up by an 80. He's going to have a very similar car to Aaron Donald, probably slightly worse. Now, again, he's not a right end there, but I could see them throwing him there. And if not, they could just put him as a rush end or whatever. But defensive tackle was kind of hard to pick. There wasn't that many that really went off stat wise. It's going to be more of like a who played the game the best. Left end, Joey Bosa. Joey Bosa's last card was a Series Redux card as a Team of the Week player. This is a Series 2. We are now in Series 4, so it's been a while. Joey Bosa, this card finally gets him, you know, to what he's been looking for. It gets him that speed and that finesse move all the way up to 99 pretty easily. He should get a 96 overall card. He'll probably end up with like an 84 speed. Probably ends up in 90 excels. 99 uh, finesse move. Now, hopefully this block should get him up to around an 84, which means with run stuff, potentially, could get him up to a 90. I'm not sure if it's going to be possible, but... There's always hope, right? All right, so I'm back. I'm going to be going with Demario Davis. Now, Demario Davis had a pretty good year. Uh, out, right outside, it was a little bit harder. There was a lot better people at left outside linebacker, but obviously, if they're left outside, they probably won't get the right outside linebacker or not. Now, the overall um, run stopper, he's really good. I've seen, you know, when you see him play in real life, he's really good at stopping the run. Really hits the hole quicker than the running back can sometimes, or at least, you know, a little bit more efficient. Uh, this next Demario Davis probably ends up in the 90 speed range. Definitely ends up in the 90 speed range. Above 90 Excel. 
ends up with 90 block shed and ends up with high play rec high tackle and be kind of like darius slender from a few years ago the other team of the year when the only difference is uh he will not probably be getting a good enough zone coverage 76 is good i guess if he gets that up to like an 84 ish then you're going to be able to go ahead and probably be able to get into a 90 zone if you can get that he's going to be a good well-rounded card if you play like a 3-4 zone scheme or something like that uh next card on the list i know people don't care about linebackers too much but this card is going to make waves this card's going to be insane roquan smith is going to get a team of the year middle linebacker card more than likely and if you check this card out right roquan smith the next card is going to have probably a 93 speed plus power probably like a 94 no, i'll go 93 speed 93 speed on the next card powered up uh he's going to have above 90 zone close to 99 hit power close to 90 block shed if you have block uh you know run stuff on him high 90 tackle high 90 player he's going to be super well rounded six feet tall going to be a great user of course if people don't like using linebackers this year so i will not spend too much time on that left that's a linebacker tj watt you can't go wrong with tj watt guys tj watt's going to be on this list i'm pretty sure for sure he's had a great year on part of one of the best defenses at some point until they fell apart towards the end and J uh tj watt just kind of seems like the guy here now tj watt the thing with him though is Let's see where his last card was. Why does it seem so out of order right now? Let's sort by overall. Uh, let's go down all the way. TJ Watt's last card. So TJ Watt did have... This is JJ with his... Uh, okay, there it is. I was looking for the Redux card. He hasn't had a card since Series 1 Redux, it appears like. He had a great year. So his next card gets probably to a 96, 97 overall powered up. So he ends up with around, I'd say, an 87, 88 speed. Above 90 Excel. He ends up with 99 finesse move with ease. Uh, close to 90 block shed. So I'd probably put run stuff on him more than likely. The card's going to be great. He's going to be a super good uh, pass rusher. I mean, he's not going to be better than Lawrence Taylor and some of those legends, but that's kind of just the nature of the game in terms of legends. Legends just seem to get crazy stats sometimes, or pass players in general. Next for our first cornerback slot, we got Marlon Humphrey. Marlon Humphrey led the league in forced fumbles on top of being a lockdown corner. Better man to man, of course, but good at just about everything. His last card was a 92 overall redux. His next card will probably be a 96, 97 powered up. He will get to about a 93, 94 speed, probably 94 speed uh, more than likely powered up and everything maybe even a 95 his uh his man coverage gets to a 99 with ease his zone gets into the 90s and his press gets to a 99 as well and his play right probably with lockdown and everything coming up so marlon humphrey ends up being a lockdown corner as well as completing that raven steam team secondary where you have Dion marlon humphrey and probably another guy that's i'm blanking on right now next on the list is a guy that had a great year i think he led the league in passes defended he didn't get a lot of love in real life like you heard about him but people weren't talking about it enough Xavier Howard. He has not gotten many cards at all, if any, which is honestly surprising considering the year he's had. I want to just look up him in general. Too many Xavier's there. So Xavier Howard only has his base lead, it seems like. So Xavier Howard should be getting a team of the year card. They gave him no upgrades. He had a great year. And a, a big part of the reason why the Dolphins even had as good as a record as they did. So hopefully, hopefully they do honor that and they give him the card that he does deserve here. But in terms of Xavier Howard, if he gets a plus, what is it, plus 17 boost here, maybe plus 16. Uh, more than likely he probably ends up with like a 94 speed right because he, he hit an 84 in his basically 80 which is pretty fast he probably ends up like a 95 90 yeah about like 95 speed ends up with uh, probably like a 94 zone 92 man he ends up being a all well-rounded all 90 zone man and press that could probably all get to 99s as well as a super high speed Xavier howard ends up being really really good now my safeties are my favorite part i think these safeties could really be insane depending on what how ea does their stats now the next safety well our first safety minka fitzpatrick for free safety gonna be a goon minka our last minka card was right here the 93 zero chill card not too far off but the next one's gonna be probably 96 97 powered up so we have to imagine this b gets to a 95 95 96 right because it can get to a 93 currently powered up so let's go with like 95 96 his excel comes gonna be like a 97 98 his zone coverage is going to be a 99, probably just about stock at this point. His man coverage, his man coverage, if boosted properly, could get close to 99, but I don't think it will hit 99. His play record gets to a 99. His pursuit, his hit power could get up to about an 88, 90, right in that range. Six foot one. Overall, the card's going to be an absolute goon. He's going to be one of the best safeties in the game. Going to have the speed, good enough height, good enough coverage. He's going to be like a taller Tyra Matthew. And then Buda Baker is going to finish our team of the year predictions at strong safety. Buda Baker had an insane year. Maybe he didn't get all the love he deserved in terms of Madden, but he had a great year. Great year. The interception on Russell Wilson that put them up, uh, almost put them up until DK Metcalf caught them. That was that play. If you guys don't know who Buda Baker is, he was the one who had the interception. Anyways, he will probably get a plus five boost here once he's fully powered up. So that will be a 94 speed more than likely. 
94, 95 speed, which is good. He will get high 90 excel. Again, same thing as the speed. His tack will be in the 90s. Play rec will probably be a 99. Pursuit will be mid 90s. His man coverage will be mid 90s, and so will his zone and hip power. The issue is he won't get 99 zone, man, or hip power, which is going to limit this card a good amount. Um, but he's going to be fun to play with. He's only 5 foot 10, though. So he's going to be like Tyron Matthew. Although he can play, seems like anywhere on the field based in his athleticism. Change of direction will be mid high 90s. The card's going to be good. All right. Um, overall, so we have. Aaron Donald, Leonard Williams, Joey Bosa, Zadarius Smith, Roquan Smith, TJ Watt, Marlon Humphrey, Xavier Howard, Minka Fitzpatrick, and Buda Baker. If you guys didn't watch my offensive predictions, go check those out as well. You're not going to want to miss those. Those were fun. A little bit quicker than this one, though, because, of course, we're just going over. Uh, it seemed, I Pretty much, if you're doing offense, if you're not doing offensive linemen because that's just boring, you're going quarterback, running back, fullback, wide receiver, two, tight end, and one offensive lineman or two, depending. So it was very quick predictions in general, but... Go check those out. I did drop that, like, I'd say half a week ago. Maybe a week ago. Check those out. But, guys, about it for the video. If you guys are new, subscribe. Turn the noti bell. Smash the like button. Like, I keep telling you guys, if you're here this long, you enjoyed. First off, comment down below who you think will get team of the year. Like, one guy you know is a lock. Like, who's your lock from your team, from your hometown guy, the team? Like, what do you think? As well as, guys, like the video if you made it this far. Can we get 50 likes in this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. As well as, guys, subscribe. Go pick up some coins from Out Reserve. Use code Poodle for 30% off. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.